Hey everyone, about a week or two ago I posted my Guitar Hero 3 hack that lets people go past the 4000 note limit. Not too long after I posted that, a few people brought to my attention a bug where, if you're playing songs with lots of notes, the score would appear to just randomly jump millions of points. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show the bug in action, otherwise this would be a pretty dumb video. Da -da -da. I'm going to be playing a test song with no fail, just to show this bug off. At the beginning here, you're not going to see the score jump very much, so don't worry about that. Alright, so the score wasn't jumping there. This next note I'm going to hit, I'm going to hold the full sustain. And you can just see it just jumps about 2 million points, I think. As long as I hold the full sustain, it will jump just a ton of points. So, now I'm just going to get into the technical of what's actually going on. To calculate points for sustains, Guitar Hero 3 does something I think is a little strange. So, when a song is loaded, Right after the notes are loaded, what it does is it goes through all the notes of the song and it calculates what the sustain on that note is worth, and then it throws that result into an array. When you hit a full sustain, Guitar Hero will look at what note you're on, and then it will go into that array where it sorted all the sustain values, and it will pull out the one for your note. If you don't hit the full sustain value, it does some different calculation that I didn't look into because it wasn't giving me millions of points. So these are the sustain values for slow ride. You can see the first two are zero because the first two notes of the song aren't sustains. And the third one is 25. And when you watch the video, you can see you get 150 points for the chord and then it adds the other 25 for the sustain. So it's fairly simple. Alright, now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. I'm going to load up my sustain song again, where we saw the glitch the first time. And this time I'm going to freeze it and just show the memory being loaded, like piece by piece. And we'll see what's actually getting put in that sustain array. So right now we're seeing normal values, 13, 25, and 0. Nothing that would just give you millions of points for hitting a long sustain. So, we're just going to wait for these to load and finish up. Now, the sustain array is adjacent to another array that also has a one-to-one a -one correspondence with the notes loaded. This second array I'm going to call the FC array, for reasons I'll explain. Now, each entry in the FC array corresponds to the amount of points that note is worth along with everything before it. So, the first uh, entry will be whatever the first note is worth. And the last entry will be uh, what an FC of the song is worth. I'm not sure if it accounts for multipliers, but it's not really that important. Now the kicker is the FC array and sustain array are each only 4,000 entries wide. How this is laid out in memory is you have the FC array, the FC array for player 2, then you have the sustain array, and then the sustain array for player 2. Each one of those is 4,000 wide. So as the song is being loaded, the FC array will fill all 4,000 entries, but it won't stop there. It'll start overriding data in the player 2 FC array, and then when it runs out of room there, it will start overriding entries in the sustain array. And that's basically all there is to explain about this bug. What's important to take home is that this bug is the same thing that keeps you from playing songs with more than 22,000 notes or so. I didn't really focus on it, but the sustain array also overflows. It wasn't just the FC array. And the sustain array will go further than the FC array. And at 22,000 notes, it'll start overriding some pretty important stuff in memory, which is why eventually the game just crashes. This is going to be very hard to work around. I'm not entirely sure I can do it because this is all statically allocated. I can't just change a 4,000 to a 1 million somewhere to just, you know, get more memory for these arrays. 
they're in fixed positions, and the code refers to those fixed positions. I might be able to do it, but no promises. I'll keep trying. So hopefully this video was informative and interesting, and I'll see you guys next time.